Hey, it's Kevin Castro. You guys are going to watch a movie I pitched on Unspool. Unspool. Unspool is a team of Los Angeles-based entertainment professionals. The Unspool team creates an entirely unique movie project from start to finish. The movie idea is born live on our podcast with our special guests. Once the movie is released online, it is discussed on our wrap-up episode with our guests, actors, and crew. Episodes are available in both audio and video versions. Both can be found at our website, unspool.net. This episode of Unspool is brought to you by... Wait, you guys actually have a sponsor? Yeah. Huh, okay. This episode of Unspool, believe it or not, is brought to you by Katana Stab Studios. Agile software at the cutting edge. Katanastabstudios.com. This is the wrap-up for our seventh movie with director Kevin Castro. Hi, and welcome back to Unspool. This is the wrap-up episode with Kevin Castro. Let's refresh everybody's memories. The uh, challenge was with... Uh, I was to... trying to remember as well. <clears throat> well, it, it, it was a uh, girl's bathroom and a boy's bathroom. Yeah, on a plane. On an airplane. Right. And All there right. was, yeah. Uh, well, yes, it started, I think, the, one of the last things you said was... This, tracks through the sky through the, right. through the airplane yes, window right. well Brilliant here's idea. here's then, what we got uh, yeah. we we have the finished film and we'll watch it together and then we can just sort of talk about it and uh go from there shall we sure let's all do right it. let's do, do it. it now are we talking through this yeah sure you want to turn it up a little bit yeah so um i like this look <laughs> uh, these, these, <laughs> those, those are what the slow motion is gonna replace. Uh, nice. Yeah, where is that? Uh, San, Diego. San Diego. All right. The oldest man alive. All one take. Now I know it's subtle, but let's look at the shirt too. And then where's that? Oh yeah, there's from? you guys in the back. You guys are doing something on the. Yeah, that, that's the rollout for this this episode. <laughs> this looks really good. This is... Uh, is this the red or the black magic? This is the black magic. Okay. And the wind in the hair. This is, oh, yeah. and, it's and a good I, looking shot. <clears throat> this is what I do every morning. <laughs> Just to start your day. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great. And I like your uh, name, yeah. too. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> love that. Did you keep the toilet paper afterward, or did you actually end up using the toilet paper? I think the wife threw it away <laughs> quickly. I like that music. Yeah. The dramatic music. It's very nice. Composed <laughs> specifically for this by Chris what Billings. Is, the, is that a wheel in front? Sorry. Well, yeah, it probably was a wheel. Sorry. <laughs> this is the coolest airplane ever. <laughs> yeah, I should put a ding in there. Now... So here's the bar that's on the airplane. Ob clearly, obviously. I'm telling you, wherever that plane's going, I want to go. Where is this bar, really? This is uh, actually at my apartment, which is on an airplane. Yeah. I'll keep guard. Don't worry about it. and Jason Sareba. Does it, Kevin? Does it does it pull off as a as a bar bathroom area on a plane? <laughs> Got a Kingsley here. Yeah, Curtis Kingsley, Megan Smith, this, Yasmin Albastami. This uh, this location was very tight. It was a, yeah, it's a it's just a tight tight hallway with two doors. I think I shot like, on an eighteen or like a ten millimeter like the whole time. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Very tight. Taco Oh that uh, Taco Tuesday and the Ebola was an improv that we, we kept. Let's look at that beer product placement on the wall. 
uh, all of those signs were returned back to Amazon.com. Whoa! For a full refund. Wow. <laughs> Wait, I don't think you should you oh, should, should say not, that. Should no, we should that? cut that oh, part oh, out. Okay. Uh, Golden Road Brewing in uh, Glendale, City City, providing some music for us. Men sitting on this couch. What a coincidence! That was gonna be my next drink. Does anybody believe that the screwdriver was gonna be his next drink? You think they'll be okay? Yeah, yeah. There's a pickup line, though. Oh, oh! You mean pick up? Sorry, I'm thinking pick up in the nerd way. You, you're thinking pick up as pick in up he your... was trying to get the girl. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what. Yeah, he yeah. wasn't really gonna get it. Screwed <laughs> I thought you meant we went and shot. Terrible meeting women. Jeez. They were in there for a full seven minutes after this. Too, so I don't know what what happened. And there you go, all on a plane. Awesome bar plane. Do you like that that ending with the? Yes. They kind of looked at each other and. Yes, it was great. What do we do now? It was great. This part not so much. Oh yeah. How long were you in there? You were there the whole time when everybody I, else was going to the I bathroom. In there the, the whole time. That's why yeah. the audio is not so great. Thank you, Eric Silva. Yeah. Thank you, Chris Billings. Thank awesome. you, Chris Billings. Thank you, Ben Town. And City, City. City. Uh-huh. And Nick Urban, who didn't even want his name in the credits, but he gets it anyway. In case he was too embarrassed. Let's uh, notice Scott touching me in- inappropriately in lots of places. I, I, so loving there. I... <laughs> <laughs> Were you okay there, Scott? Yeah, I don't know what was Were going we on. Were having a moment? <laughs> I, I think he was trying to position me, but then it just kept going. I'm not yeah, entirely sorry. Sure, but, so, yeah. what do you think? Was that? I know that's. I. You know what? Honestly, I'm trying to remember what we had talked. I mean, I look. I remember it was like a bathroom thing, like what you guys did. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, what was it? You what, would, what, you would we, pitch I know. The, I know. I know. The, Two guys go. The men's bathroom is occupied, so the one guy has to cover for his friend while right, he goes right, right. into the girls. And, then and the, I think and you then... said this has happened to you numerous times. Well, it just happened. We were somewhere, and it I happened. I think right when yeah. it happened, you mentioned it. It was like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. yeah. yeah. So we, we we went off that idea and kind of... It was fun. It, yeah. yeah. It was absolutely... It was fun. It was great. Yeah, it's just a short How little... small was that? It Was that like right in a hallway that you were yeah, seeing all the coverage? Yeah, just the hallway. So there's like... I mean, it's probably, you know... Just a little bit wider than that table. It was very, very cramped. Wow. But we needed two bathrooms that were right. You know, right, right. Could and luckily, your place shot. had one bathroom, that, one location, <laughs> another bathroom right next to it. It's crazy. Yeah. Weird that we have two bathrooms it's so, so close weird. to each other. Yeah, you can totally, definitely not see any uh, lamps, lamps or in the a couch or a poster in the bathroom. No, so that was, was fun. Uh, we did look uh, to see what it would cost to rent uh, an airplane set. There's, there's a place in Van Nuys, but it like. And initially, I think it was like two hundred and fifty bucks for two hours or so, or four hours or something. Mm-hmm. But then that didn't include any of the electrical. Or uh, by the time everything was added to it, and we were like, we, "No way, we can do it in two hours either." It was like a thousand bucks or something. So we we didn't we couldn't do it. Right. But uh, it's a bar on an airplane. I I, I bought it. I <laughs> really felt like I was right there on the plane. <laughs> Could you imagine if a plane was really like that? that yeah, that would be like, amazing. Cool. Yeah, I'd fly all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where I'd go, but I'd fly a lot. Yeah, note to United Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> and here's uh, United yeah, Airlines. Yeah, this is the actual. This is the, the plane. plane. So we put this, um, put a screw on the bottom, and uh, hooked it up to this little C stand, in our in uh, our green screen. Yeah, in front we of had, our green screen. So we had rails set up, like, for the track, and this is, was held in place. And we had, oh. like, fluff from a pillow. And that, the shot ended up changing, but we had fluff from a pillow as clouds. And then we, like, tracked through the clouds onto that. And then that st- <laughs> still looked pretty bad. Cool. So then Eric Silva ended up doing the... Uh, yeah, because we had a bunch of green screen shots, and the screw was screw. in it. And then we had the, the C-stand knuckle. And John and I are not the, the best at compositing... And Eric is, and uh, right. when I was flying the last time I flew to visit my daughter, I uh, I shot some iPhone footage of clouds, like really nice clouds, which is what's what right. you see. Um, just 
as steady as I could with the iPhone, and then I gave him that as backplates and said, hey, if you can use these as backplates, it looks kind of like where a plane should be flying, and, and so he he did a great job on that. That was great. Yeah. That was cool. What was, is that landing gear or the front? That's what it was. I think it's, the, yeah. it's like the wheel, you know, because it's, it's just a, like a toy plane, right. and we broke something off of it, but we couldn't break this thing <laughs> off or we didn't want to, so. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. It's very nice. <laughs> I forget what you you ended up buying that I think Amazon Prime yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and are you going to return it no <laughs> that's uh, I guess we're not supposed to talk about that's that. an unspooled prop right here uh, yeah all right so Very if anybody nice. would like uh, for a seventeen ninety five wow wow can we sell are this we, stuff are we doing that now uh, no I guess I guess not it seems so, so how long it, obviously you shot that in a, in, in a day mm-hmm. you shot like a weekend uh, yeah or? on a Saturday yeah, it um, took us about uh, five took, yeah. Four hours, I think, with the actors, and then probably five, including like setup and wrap out. It's pretty, pretty quick. You shoot all one camera. You didn't try to do two at once. No, either. no. We shot Too on tight. the, the black, black magic. magic. Yeah. Um, Very tight space. We shot, you know, wide lenses the whole time. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping to shoot a variety. I think, I think that maybe those over the shoulders may have been like a twenty-eight millimeter. It's it pretty, pretty tight. It was pretty so tight. And that was it. It was your. Was at, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it was a plane. Yeah, what plane was it? Uh, yes, it was on the, the United Airlines. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but that, yeah, the same same hallway. Actually, when we recorded right, the podcast, right, the hallway right. that went into that office there, that was the women's bathroom. And uh, what was I going to ask? Do, so, what kind of lenses does that the Black Magic have? Is it? Oh, I'm, I use my set of Nikon lenses. Oh, okay. So I I have a Nikon adapter to a Micro Four Thirds system on there so i can just put whatever nikon lenses i want nice. and i didn't have any choices for that i just had to go wide to see if i could get the two shot and, i remember like you were we were all just like everybody and then i think like i was like i was tucked in the laundry room trying to boom and like i had the like my task cam thing. thing like resting right here right and uh yeah, it was, it was very cramped. And that flashing light is all provided by that flashing Beer. beers sign also from Amazon. Oh, that's funny. And I, you know, the, we try to make the footage kind of dark and clubby. Uh, yeah. And, oh, well, and let's talk a little bit about your uh, your intro. So when oh, I came yeah. to you with that your, really yeah. looks really your good. hero shot, as I call it, you know, um, I, I love how your house is set up with the pool right outside of your bedroom. And so I think I pitched to you, like, this is, I imagine, this is how Kevin Castro wakes up every morning. Yeah. With So that's your actual, because he, the first time I saw it, I hadn't realized, like, when you got up, I, so I, I said, where'd the bed go? But I thought maybe it was just out of the frame. And then the TV was there, and then I was confused. So that's actually the bed you sleep on, and that's the TV in... Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's really... <laughs> <laughs> and it just plays unspool all the time, right? Like it's just playing Absolute, constantly. Absolutely. Even when I sleep, when the bed goes down, <laughs> it's, it's just I'm on. I'm still listening to Scott. At night <laughs> so, My wife loves it. It's cool. <laughs> so yeah, and in fact, your wife um, uh, helped. She lifted the bed when you yeah, got off. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, how did it get? How did yeah, it get up? And she on she lifted own. it up, and <laughs> otherwise that might be a dangerous sleeping. Situation. Scrambled, right. and uh, you grabbed your coffee and your robe, and you yeah. moved on. And yeah, it was great. No, it was fun. It was yeah. uh, absolutely ridiculous. The the worst part was, I hate a cold pool, and so like you know I wanted some time to heat it up, <laughs> but sure enough, it was I don't know. You, it felt like you called me on a Wednesday. We shot on a Friday or a Saturday. Or, so the was it all just? Did you do a second take? No, I offered. I, I would have done it, but we did one take, and uh, that was fine. We, it looked, we went through it a couple times, and and, and, and uh, nicely executed dive. Like, also, my dive was very nice. Yeah, <laughs> very graceful. Yeah. yeah, no, the shot, the shot's great. Like it looks like it was fun. Uh, I was, it was fun to do. The lighting was good, and I, I like when you walk by the camera and the wind catches your hair. Oh, it's a little great! Bit. I lo- I just I love how young I look and slender. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, it's great. It's great. I love it. There's um, just for the editing side of things, there's yeah. three cut points in there. The, there. the shot is continuous, but there's three cut points and three different color corrections, and oh. it blends. No so when he's getting out of bed, because it's dark in there, and I couldn't control the the aperture when I was shooting. I just, oh, wow. Because so, you were actually on the steady cam. Mm-hmm. So that's I had to brighten that up a bit. And then as soon as he gets out and the the bed goes up, there's there's a dissolve like a you know forty eight frame dissolve or something. So from the bed I wow. boosted it up 
And then when he got outside, I didn't as much. And then when he walks by to the spot when he dives, that's the brightest. So I actually had to tone that down. So there's and looks, so when he really when, I want to see it again now. When well, he when his when, head when, it's on. when his head passes by that's when another, on your, your, another on your loop when sure, it's on sure, all the yeah. <laughs> that's his, that's another cut point so there's three it's that color correction cut wow. points I you'd guess. never I mean you never notice it looks um, looks really good and then and then Kevin sent me a couple different of the toilet paper rolls yeah yeah, yeah and I yeah, some of my really finest funny. work I like that that's probably where it all needs to go is right down that toilet <laughs> I was I was thinking and it would be you know super gross if you actually like had like a POV like you got up. You know, and, and then like pulled it out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But that, that that might be more of a, you know, just over the over the top. But it was fun. Just a little, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and our our cast, we found. Oh yeah, tell me about all them. So where do you find? Where do you are they friends? Are they? Uh, yeah, friends and people we worked with before. So uh, Jason, the, uh, the Which one is that? Asian guy. Okay. Um, we knew him from. Uh, the American Poop movie that we did. Okay. And he was in that. So, so he, was an, he was an actor. In he that. was an actor in that. Um, and his, he had a friend, Zoe, who was the main guy in the hallway. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, uh, actually, the director of the Poop movie's brother is the Curtis, who's the guy who was in the men's bathroom okay. initially. And his, yeah. But we uh, initially, we contacted him to get to his girlfriend, Megan, to be, to be in this. And then Kurt came along anyway, nice. uh, and then uh, Yasmin was uh, Mike Battle's uh, roommate, who's also an actress. Wow. Um, that's great. And they, I mean, they're like we said, you know, we need you for a few hours on Saturday. It shouldn't be. How, how much did you put into the script? Oh no, that was a script <laughs> question. <laughs> no, I, I, it's, we did less of a script for this, and we had like more, an out, a general an outline outline of of who's going to say what, but not necessarily exactly what. Like we knew, like there's like these uh, people had to like from the rollout that we did about discussing like what what the plot is and who's going to talk to who and this person has to go interact with this person this this guy has to come out of the bathroom at this time so everything was blocked and everything was yeah right. there's like the bullet points that have to get hit but then mm-hmm. it's like uh, you know person A goes in the bathroom person B goes in the bathroom like person C and D are in the hallway and now they like talk yeah. for a little bit did you guys and go through the whole thing first did you go like through one angle since it was kind of a short sort of more or less not all of our actors were there uh, at the same time oh. when we started Got it. so we shot most of the wide uh, at one point and then I think at the end we ended up we ended up doing oh we we filmed the coverage. the the screwdriver scene, the two of them first. Yeah, we, yeah, that, the, the the main two, hallway the part two, we, we did first. That was what we did. And you know, there a lot of them are improv actors, so we said, why don't we just have fun with fun right. with it and come up? It felt, it felt good. It felt real. Yeah, I, I thought they were good. Yeah, they were. That's why I was like, where, where did you get these people? Because they were, mm-hmm. they were. Yeah, they, they were. They, they were, didn't were, seem. Um, uh, yeah, and they were. They were fun to work with, and they had a good time. We're just happy to you know hang out right. and try some things. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was. Great. It went and it went quick. It went actually. I mean, the movie's pretty quick, and the shoot went went pretty fast too. And it's ridiculous, and that's sort of what matters is that everybody had fun, and it's silly, and, and it, it's funny too because they all came knowing like we'd sent them, you know, it's in a bar and this and that. And when they got there, we explained to them that this was taking place on an airplane. They're like, <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what kind of airplane? A <laughs> uh, United airplane. Yeah. So should we act like there's turbulence? And... No, <laughs> that might be too much. Right. You'd be like the Star Trek thing. Yeah. Ones, like, <laughs> yeah, everybody's in the wall. That actually would have been funny. That would have been funny. like every now and then they kind of yeah, and the over. pilot can come on. <laughs> oh, that would have been great. And and everyone get back in your bathroom. seats. <laughs> oh. oh, that would have been funny. Oh, I smell sequel. All right, bar plane two. <laughs> and... so. Oh, and I, I would like to say that uh, apart from the end, end credit song which was uh, by City City that music was all uh, original by uh, our com- a composer who sought us out online named uh, Chris Billings from uh, Texas great. and mm-hmm. that that music at the beginning when the when right. the plane tracks through I, I said like you know some sort of James Bondy action movie I swear he turned that around the same day and like wow. I, I I played it and I said holy shit that's it's so perfect so he did a really awesome mm-hmm. job that's awesome it's that very good it's, it's cool to have uh, original music done absolutely so. yeah. yeah well that's the whole point of all this right mm-hmm. it's just to be creative and have fun and yeah just like and have everybody else have fun with it too yeah exactly yeah. and did you accomplish that 
We did. Oh, yeah. When we wrapped on the shoot, you know, everybody was like, this is super fun. And, you know, we had a, a really good time. And, and I think when you give actors, I mean, this doesn't work for uh, every movie, but when you give actors a certain freedom to, you know, come up with stuff on mm-hmm. their own, it, it really helps them out to, to sort of yeah, have, like have the, fun with the. Them. Taco Tuesday in a bowl line that was just improv. That I think that one. Oh, the I'm ending like, was I thought improv too. When that they, I think it was oh, Jason. Uh, Jason right? said he, like, what if, what if we? Because they were just supposed to sort of have a little love connection, but then they decided like, what if we make out and go back into the bathroom? So no, it was great. I yeah, loved it. loved it. That was great. So we shot the the, the original was they. I think they just they said, huh? Well, let's go get a drink or something, and they walk hand in hand yeah, out. Right. But but his uh, extreme. Makeout method was, was fun. Was <laughs> was curious, I love that so. he comes out of the bathroom too, and is like he's still like doing up his pants, and he's he's like uh, he did some takes in there where he was making some noises too, but we didn't, they didn't make this cut. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they were they were. A Who lot cut of fun. it? Uh, I cut the you cut you cut out like a I, a I cut the opening a, yeah a bit, and then I I cut the majority of it yeah. yeah and then yeah you did the opening and it's well cut s- sewed all the stuff yeah it looked good it looked good yeah. it was cool fun. thanks I loved it it's really thanks. oh. And there's a wide shot when the girls first enter, when uh, Zoe is standing in the hallway and the girls first enter, that's a uh, composite shot because we didn't have them when we were shooting because we shot Jason and Zoe, go, the two guys going to the bathroom, and then the girls came in later, but we didn't have, a, we didn't have uh, it all as a continuous action, so it's actually an animat around the oh, girls cool. as they, no, wa- as they walk in. That. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That was cool. I want to see it again. That's good. Well, you can watch it whenever you want at unspooled.net. <laughs> <laughs> and right. on Kevin's TV, playing on a loop in his, ba- in oh, his bedroom. That's so bed. <laughs> so uh, whole bedroom's embarrassing. So. Oh, it's oh, amazing. It's, it's really I, <clears throat> yes. Someday I it's hope this... to have a bed that plays unspool all the time. and <laughs> Easy access to a pool and all that. And a vodka station just like right there. Very, yeah. I... <laughs> very embarrassing. That's great. That's very embarrassing. Especially the vodka. No, would it be great in vodka at your room? No, probably. Don't take that out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks thank for, you. It was uh, a for, lot of fun and... for letting me, you know, hang out yeah. with you guys. I, I, yeah. I, thanks I, for helping us with the idea and coming up with something and talking about your past and the Ferrari and all that stuff. So yeah, those are some, uh, some good stories. I have douchebag and <laughs> getting out, doing a shot, no. going in the pool, Ferrari, no. terrible story. No, it's all good. Granted, that was twenty years ago. So yeah, great, great stories. Yeah, you're different now. Now you wake, now you wake up and have your vodka and jump. In. <laughs> <laughs> so. I swear, I'm a good guy. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, a lot of Thank fun. You. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thank All right, you. and uh, tune in for more Unspool. Go to our website, unspool.net, and check us out on iTunes. iTunes, internet, uh, youtube.com slash Unspool Podcast. Uh, Twitter, Unspool Podcast, everywhere. And this episode was brought to you by Katana Stab Studios in Austin, Texas, who has, for some reason, uh, been kind enough to sponsor us. So uh, thank you very much, and uh, you can visit them at katanastabstudios.com. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Yay. Cheers. Cut. All right. Something. So what are they doing, sponsoring? Unspool is available in both audio and video versions. Both can be found on our website, unspool.net. Videocasts can also be found at youtube.com slash unspoolpodcast, and audio-only versions can be found on iTunes. To see all the the behind-the-scenes videos, planning, production, outtakes, photos, and of course, the completed movies themselves, visit unspool.net. You, my new friend, can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, at Unspool Podcast. Tweet us your movie ideas, and we may even use them during our next pitch. Who knows? Maybe your million-dollar movie idea can be our next unwatched YouTube video. (laughs) This is Curtis Kingsley. Thanks for listening. Check me out on Twitter, at Curtis Kingsley. Now I'm verified. Unspool is produced by John French and Scott Zarzicki and is a Frenchy Co. Entertainment Production.